Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Unbound playthrough. To be honest, today's episode uh, is a very, very, very simple goal, and that is to beat the Mega Evolution Lady. It is a very simple goal, but I feel like it's going to be incredibly difficult. In terms of the team, all I really did was get everyone up to the level cap. Um, I did catch a super secret surprise um, that I thought might potentially be useful if it comes to it. Um, that will rely on their Azumarill, funnily enough, if you want a little bit of a hint as to what I may have caught. But at the moment, I want to try it one more time with this team and work out just a little bit more of what she actually has. Because at the moment, we know Azumarill comes in, it uses Belly Drum, and is really scary. But to be honest, I'm very, very certain that I can beat the Azumarill with literally just Drapion. Um, and it doesn't even require me to use the fun cross poison crit mechanic. I can do it a very consistent way by just using toxic and protect. So, or at least I think I can. At the very least, I can take it down with these two Pokemon, and then we have four other Pokemon to actually scout what else she has. And I feel like that's a nice idea. So, we're going to be starting this episode off with a good old battle against this lady once again. And hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have a victory, but we'll see. Hello there, trainer. My name is Successor Maxima. We did read your stuff. We did. And to be honest, you did kind of wreck me, okay? I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. She came in, she set up a belly drum, and I lost. It really was that simple, which is why I want to put it on a timer of Toxic, like, straight away, so that we can at least see what else she has after the Azumarill. Because last time, um, one, I was really rushed, okay? Um, I had a lot of stress building up over the weekend. I recorded that episode during the weekend. If you couldn't tell, I was very rushed, and I felt like I had to get a lot of stuff done, uh, because my head wasn't in a good space. Um, today I'm a lot more relaxed, thankfully, um, so I'm, I'm fine with using more stall techniques. Is that how it works in real life? Does, does my actual mental state affect my gameplay? Maybe. It just might. But regardless, he's gonna go for a belly drum. It would full heal him, so me doing any damage on that first turn that didn't one-shot would realistically be irrelevant. Whereas with this Toxic, we get a turn of Toxic. He's probably gonna hit us. That's fine. I'm probably not going to be able to get this cross poison off. Again, that's fine. I have the Rocky Helmet on my Drapion, meaning it's going to take some good recoil damage from that. It's going to take the poison damage, and then I have a Pokemon to protect. I think between all of those, as long as my, my maths is correct, we should be able to take out the Azumarill with zero problems. And that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. This Yan Mega, by the way, so underrated. <laughs> it really is. It's genuinely coming in so useful over and over again. We'll have the speed boost up for whatever the next Pokemon is. As long as it's not like generic rock type Pokemon A, then we're fine, right? It's that simple. Just don't send in generic rock type Pokemon A and we're good. Preferably send in something weak to bug and let me get a boost. That'd be great. Nine tails. I mean, that's not great. Um, although. Ancient power boosts do exist. Just saying, they can exist. Not the best damage you've ever seen in the world, to be honest. It didn't make me feel super great seeing how little that did. Aurora Veil, crits exist. <laughs> it's, it's just gotta be that simple, right? Just land a crit. To be honest, even with one, I mean, one might take it out. One would probably put it in range of a faint. So if we get one Ancient Power Crit, we did not get a crit. Okay, you know what? That's not the best. Um, Nine Tails, huh? That's, that's, it's a little bit of a problem. I do have a Lucario with Metal Claw, but with the Aurora Veil up, I think it probably just lives. Um, with the Aurora Veil down, Metal Claw is definitely enough. If I had a stronger Steel type move, you know, a Flash Cannon, an Iron Tail, Iron Head. If I had a move like that, I'd feel confident, but Metal Claw I don't think is going to be enough power, so I think I'm going to actually try and do something a little bit risky and try and land a Hypnosis, because one, that will stall out turns of the Aurora Veil, and two, it will boost the power of Hex. So Gengar, can you please land the Hypnosis? Nasty plot. Gengar, can you please land the Hypnosis? Gengar, 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 I need you to land the Hypnosis. Yes, okay. That's super good. That's super, super, super good. That's super good. Also, my eyes have been really funny today. Um, I felt like I had to, like, put my finger in my eye over and over again because my eyes are just really watery. Um, I don't know if it's, like, an allergy or something. So if you see me doing this a lot, it's just me, like, 
getting water out of my eye because it's been really bad today. Um, but we're gonna use Hex. Nine Tails is fast asleep. Good. We're gonna get the Hex off. It's gonna do not as much damage as I want, but to be fair, it's in the Aurora Veil. So without the Aurora Veil, that'd be great. Um, I just need one more turn of sleep and I'm golden. Yes, we take out the Nine Tails. Good job, Gengar. Good job, okay. All right, what else does he have? She have. What else does she have? Aurora Veil wore off. That's super nice. Gallade. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to do the Hypnosis strategy again. I'm just going to Hex and get damage off, because at the end of the day, we do have a Pollen Puff. Um, we do have a Dazzling Gleam, a Bombi. It does have Pollen Puff as well, but... There's a crit. Gengar. Gengar. Bro. Gengar. Hot damn. Superior. Well, I mean, I'm at this point just going to Hypnosis, to be honest. I would, I would love to land a, another Hypnosis, that'd be great. Gengar! Gengar! This was meant to be my, my like, I learned the team battle. I wasn't... There's a chance we win! This wasn't in my, in my plans. I'm just gonna use Hex. Withdrew the Serperia. Okay. To go into Altaria. Hex does respectable damage. I mean, that Leech Seed is unfortunate for sure. Um, again, I want to land a Hypnosis. So, it is Mega Altaria. Yep. 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 Okay. Alright. We missed the Sleep Claws is in effect? Sleep Claws? Sleep Claws. We're doing sleep claws. Okay. Okay. All right. Should I have swapped out in that case? Yes. Yes, I should have. But I didn't. Well, I'm gonna click hex. Body slam. Uh, pixelate boosted. Yup. Uh huh. Okay. All right. That's not good. Um. I think we're gonna get swept by this altire at this point. I'm gonna try and stun spore it, but I'm pretty sure it outspeeds me at plus one. It does, in fact, that's sweep me at plus one. That's probably gonna one-shot me. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Yeah, that's that's gonna be this one. Um, close. We've seen every single Pokemon, and to be honest, I think as long as we don't have the Altaria come out against our Gengar by bringing or by using our Gengar slightly different, it would require us to land a Hypnosis again, probably against that Nine Tails. But I think this is winnable. You know, try and sandstorm. Yeah, okay, right, we're getting one shot. Um, I think that's genuinely winnable with our current team. But just to show off my strategy that I can also bring. Shut up, Nurse Joy, shut up. Um, I did also, in between episodes, go and catch myself one of these um, by using the Dex Nav on Route 10. Um, we have Imposter. So, for example, if we get to that exact same point again, right, and instead of Goodbye, we have ourselves this Pokemon in the back. To be honest, I'm tempted to bring it in the back anyway, but I'm so confident that we can win with our current team, I think I'm just gonna go back there and give another attempt. But, if we have this in the back, and that exact same battle happens again, and I bring in the Ditto instead of the Glade, or I bring in the, the Ditto when the Dragon Dance gets set up, we copy the stat boost, we click, you know, the body slam instead, and we win. Provided we win the speed tie, because we don't have a choice scarf. But regardless, I'm pretty confident that this ditto allows us to win that battle. However, I am going to go and give it one more attempt with our current team, because I do feel like we have a real shot at it. Alright, same strategy as last time. We start off with Toxic. We can deal with the Azumarill in the exact same way. I don't think that needed to be changed. I think the only thing that needed to be changed, um, unless Hypnosis misses, if Hypnosis misses against that first um, Ninetales, I think we kind of forfeit the fight and we have to try again. But I think as long as Gengar doesn't put... I don't know, actually. Because we got a crit before. And that crit made a difference with the Hex um, that one-shot the Glade. 
I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we have a real shot at winning this. Things are probably going to be a little bit different, though. We're going to go start this off exactly the same. Protect. We're going to Ancient Power against the Ninetales. We're going to put the Ninetales to sleep. And after the Ninetales is asleep, I feel like things get a little bit different. But I do feel confident in my team. I do. Who knows? Maybe this time is the time to get the Ancient Power boost. Right, Yanmega? Right? Right? I'm really starting to put more and more pressure on this Yanmega. I mean, between Silverwind and Ancient Power Boost, there's actually, like, a lot of situations where I can get the boosts, and I'm gonna be honest, I really do enjoy getting the plus one and everything. <laughs> so why I quite like using, um, what was it called, Zed Happy Hour in Gen 7. Just, just for, like, replaced Splash and gave me a plus one and everything instead, which was so good. And I know that Jirachi could line it and stuff like that, and a Jirachi with plus one and everything is really damn strong. But we don't get the boost, sadly. Can we get a crit? Mayhaps, possibly. It might even be worth it to just detect on this turn to burn an extra turn of the Aurora Veil. He's gonna attack me, right? I mean, if I'm putting him to sleep anyway, it's not like it really matters. Plus, the crit would also be really nice. And I don't want him setting up a nasty plot, actually. No, 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 no. I don't know exactly how the game mechanics work on this. I don't know if it, like, sees what move I'm going to use and then the opponent uses their best move as a counter, or if their move is just clicked at the same time as mine, like a normal battle. I don't know if this one runs on, like, a Gen 1 kind of style, where the opponent uses their move based on what you've clicked, which is how it works in Gen 1, if I'm not mistaken. So, rather than risk that, we're just going to go ahead and risk the hypnosis instead, which probably isn't that much better in hindsight, but either way, there's the nasty plot. I'm pretty sure this thing could have probably just went for Blizzard and one-shot me. I'm surprised it actually goes for the nasty plot. We do land the hypnosis, that's huge. Okay, alright, I love that. And now I think we just go ahead and we hex. And we get some big old damage on this Ninetales, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay. Um, see, last time we got, like, an absolutely massive crit on that Glade. This time... The Aurora Veil is still up. Huh. You know what I was saying about that detect? That might have been the better play, huh? Um... I mean, I'm just gonna Hex again. Wait, this has benefits. Wait, because now I can bring in Robombi early, and Robombi can deal with the Superior with Pollen Puff, it can deal with the Altaria with Dazzling Gleam, it can deal with this with Dazzling Gleam, and the thingy is asleep, so I can Dazzling Gleam. Robombi? Robombi? Wait, hold on. Wait, everyone. Dazzling Gleam. Shadow Sneak. A little bit annoying, but at the end of the day, all of the rest of his Pokemon can probably one-shot me anyway, so I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, it's kind of fine. So we take out the Glade. What comes out next? Preferably the Altaria, so I can try and stun Spore it right now. Although I would like the others to come out first, because that way I can use my Rebombi against them. Actually, this is fine. Um, I'm just gonna Pollen Puff and get big damage off. Lead Seed. Fine. Absolutely fine. No worries. We Pollen Puff. That should do a really good amount of damage. The Aurora Veil is not up anymore. That does do a good amount of damage. Uh, what, what do you have? Leftovers and Leech Seed. Is that going to put you out of range? Your Protect. These don't have Protect, because another Pollen Puff will kill. Leaf Storm. Misses. Not that it would have KO'd anyway, but misses. That's nice. We are resistant to that, so I don't think it would have KO'd us. Um, nice. Nice. Just showing off a little bit of dodging, really. Ramombi's just like, hi, I'm fast. Altaria. If I can get this stun spore off, I am so confident we win. If I Dazzling Gleam and he sets up that Dragon Dance, though, we know what happens from there. Because we saw it before, it'll one-shot all of our team. So I have to stun spore. Because I don't think Dazzling Gleam one-shots. Altaria is thick. So we stun spore. Please. Please. Rabombi. Big, fat eyeballs, okay? Just, I want you to have the most massive eye- Thank you. Thank you, Rabombi. Your eye- Your absolute eyeballs today are incredible. Holy. And it's fully paralyzed. I don't think we needed that part, but you know what? I'll take it. 
I'll take it. It's a little bit rude, but now I can Dazzling Gleam, we can take it down with HP. The remaining two Pokemon are this Altaria, which does actually get half hit by Dazzling Gleam, which is very, very strong. Body Slam, that's fine. We can go out into our good old Lucario. We can Metal Claw this thing. We can Metal Claw the Ninetales that's asleep after it, that still has a guaranteed turn of sleep. We didn't miss the Metal Claw, thank god I care, I might have screamed, but I think we win. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely could have had the Ditto in the pack instead of Gabite, and I think it would have probably been better, but I didn't. I don't know why I thought I would need the Gabite. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't bring the Ditto in the back, to be honest. But still, either way, the power of Mega Evolution, can you feel it within your reach? Honestly, yes. Yes, I can. Just land the Metal Claw. Land it. Guaranteed turn of sleep. That was fine. This is four times super effective. I think we've done it. Holy, I can't believe we won that with our team. I really didn't think I was going to need to use, like, a Ditto against, like, the, um... To be honest, I was thinking I might use the Ditto against the Belly Drum Azumarill, and I might copy, like, the stat change of the Belly Drum Azumarill, and then I saw the Altaria, and I was like, well, I could copy the, the stat changes of that one to Dragon Dances. There were multiple situations there where I thought Ditto would be useful, but we didn't need it. As per our arrangement for defeating me, take this Mega Bracelet. Can I get Lucario's Mega Ring? Because that'd be really strong. The Mega Bracelet lets you use the power of Mega Evolution. For a Pokemon to be capable of Mega Evolving in battle, it must be holding its unique Mega Stone. If Pokemon is capable, then you'll see the Mega Symbol appear in the battle, press start, your Pokemon will then Mega Evolve and become even more powerful. Just remember, you can only Mega Evolve one Pokemon per battle. The Mega Evolution's effects will wear off once the battle is over, so choose carefully. I have faith that you'll use this Mega Bracelet to help benefit humanity. Well, I don't know about that one, but let's, let's calm down a little bit. Don't let me down, Carlos. I'm counting on you to make a difference in the world. No pressure. Oh, one last thing. Take this Mega Stone with the Pokemon Altaria. Honestly? Honestly. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. If we can get a move set of like a Dragon type move, like Outrage, um, the Pixelate, Body Slam, and Earthquake with Dragon Dance. Yeah. Yeah, that would be super, super, super good. I don't know where we would get a Swablu at the moment, and I don't know if we'd be able to like, um, learn all of those things. Is there like a switch in here? Secret switch, press it, yes. Who wouldn't? I don't know. I don't know. For right now, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna get on out of this mansion. This is terrifying. We have ourselves our Mega Stone. Oh. I want a word with you. Mel, please don't bow me. <laughs> please. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> I, w I want some easy trainers. I want a break. <laughs> Been hearing some hubbub about the rascals preventing the town spoken epitome from exploring old Thundercap Mountain. We need to go there. Now I gotta put these outlaws in their place. Because not only do I look good, I do good work. Oh, okay. I do it while looking good. Okay, alright, I, I get the point. Yep, mm hmm. Anyway, this outlaw says he'll, he's there to keep you out specifically. Now I don't know what kind of hullabaloo he'll mixed up in. <laughs> Speaking like my family right now. <laughs> but I'm going to help you fix it. So take this to get your family to, <laughs> to get you to. <laughs> Oh, the word hullabaloo has completely destroyed my brain. Okay. Take this to get yourself to a pit me faster. Okay, HMO2 fly. Do we have we have to like learn to fly though, right? We can't just Like other HMs, if a Pokemon can learn it, you can use it. Just choose a Pokemon that should be okay, there we go. That's what I need then. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. Don't keep me waiting too long, partner. Are you gonna miss me looking all fine and dandy? Do I have a Pokemon that can learn fly? Yes, I have the Yanmega! Yanmega is my everything at this point. It's so useful. <laughs> oh, wow. I am I am having a newfound respect towards Yanmega, honestly. Because I did think of it as just a generic bug. Um, after this playthrough, I don't think this is going to be the case. I do think, while I know we're very close to having a Garchomp, I think we're gonna keep Ditto in the back for the time being. That way it can get some XP. Not that its stats really matter. That is the nice thing about it. Um, it was very quick to go and get. Why did I turn off auto run? I remember I was running to the mansion and I turned it off because there was that stupid maze puzzle and I kept running past the door. Still. Um, I think. 
Ditto is actually really, really useful because it doesn't need to be on par in level because Imposter just copies the stats of the opposing Pokemon other than its HP, and I'm realistically just going to bring it in whenever I need to copy uh, stat boosts. So I'm going to put Robombi back in front, which has been a very consistent lead, and I guess we're going to waddle down here. This is your final warning, Rascal. Move or be moved. I refuse to abandon my post. I must prevent Kalos from entering Thundercap Mountain at all costs. That's kind of rude of you. Now, I don't want to hurt you, but I will if you make me miss my deep tissue massage. Okay. Miltank, hit him with a body slam. Okay. Alright. He, uh, he got knocked into the void. You may think that that's actually a cave entrance. Turns out that's actually a black hole and he is dead. Ugh. I reckon you got it from here, partner, but I gotta run. Whatever these rascals are up to, they obviously don't want you interfering. So go nuts. Fair. 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 You know? Fair. Hi. Ow, my head. Yup. What Pokemon can we find here? Magnemite, honestly, get sturdy. Could be good, could be good. Something to consider. I have to kind of keep track of all of the Pokemon that are around, because there might genuinely be a time that we need them. That's the nice thing about this game. Um, it might come across at times that I'm like, God dang it, this fight is insane. Why, why are they expanding force? Why do they have this? Why, why do they have that? But I mean, the rage in a way is a little bit a part of the game. Um, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy building a team and, and having to actually think about my battles, don't get me wrong. So if there's ever times when I feel like, um, or when you feel like I might be not enjoying it, I am. It's just, if I say the pain's part of the pleasure, I come across as a massive masochist. That's not what I mean. Um, <laughs> I enjoy the difficulty. It can just be annoying sometimes when you see the Expanding Force gimmick used for like the 18th time, because I saw it a lot in Radical Red. If you get past me, I'll be burned alive. You're not getting any farther. Are you the same grunt that hit your head? Pumpkaboo. Not the Pokemon I'm the most afraid of, if I'm honest. I'm just gonna click Pollen Puff. Um, found my honey. Kind of unfortunate for you. One thing I do need to still do in this game, though, is I need to really go ahead and utilize the dens and the raid battles for more items. Because uh, at the moment, the only thing I've really got from those dens is the occasional berry and maybe a rare candy. I haven't found any of the good items. I don't know if I can get the good items yet, or if I need higher star dens, because uh, I'm assuming it works just like Radical Red, and there's going to be like 2 star, 3 star, 4 star, 5 star dens, and at the higher end of the spectrum, we can get the choice items and stuff like that. Because choice items, and focus sashes, and air balloons, and all of those types of moves are really when my team will start becoming better than the opponents at an average fight, and that's when things will become a lot better. Uh, Phantom Force, huh? Phantom Force. Funnily enough, if my Ditto wasn't... <laughs> if my Ditto wasn't exactly what it is right now with Imposter, it would actually be a really nice switch in. Because <laughs> sadly, <laughs> we can't utilize that. So I guess we go into Drapion instead, and I guess we're gonna go... Um, I mean, I know Night Slash would KO, but I'm curious if it does hold an item, so I'm gonna knock off. Considering it didn't heal with a berry, I'm assuming it's not holding an item. It's still giving enough to KO, so it's not the end of the world, but... You know. I like to know what the opponent has, just in case. And an Absol. Well, I don't feel super afraid of that, I'm just gonna click Cross Poison. And we're gonna do some good damage with that, because Absol is very frail. Not as much damage as I thought. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. Drapion's kind of bulky. The Rocky Helmet, though, will make it so that I do KO, even if this doesn't crit. Rocky Helmet Drapion right now has been very nice. We do get a crit anyway, so it's completely irrelevant, but the Rocky Helmet has been really nice. I want more items like that. Something more on par with that level. You know, the leftovers of the world, the air balloons. I want that stuff. No. I'd rather leave the region than be burned alive. Okay. Good luck. Um, I'm just gonna strength ball to this, and we're gonna start waddling our way through. I don't know if we're gonna get to the next super intense battle or not. Um, we're probably not. We're probably just gonna get to a point where we've, we've battled a couple trainers in this place, and we're like halfway through the cave. But we got our Mega Ring, which is all I wanted to do today, so win. What is down this way? I am also slightly curious about what Pokemon we can find. We do have the Dex Nav, so we can see like how many Pokemon we still need to actually like grab. 
Uh, I think it's the first time I've actually really shown the Dex Nav. Before in Radical Red, I was doing like a Dex Nav review type of deal. I don't plan on doing that again, because <laughs> I don't want to spend all my time in the grass running around learning what all of the Pokemon are, and I don't want to have to like do it in the day and then again at night, because I'm pretty sure there's like different Pokemon depending on whether you're playing at daytime or nighttime. I don't want to go through all that. We'll see what we see, and to be honest, if there's ever a time when I'm really struggling with a fight, I'm sure there's probably a wiki or something for Pokemon Unbound that I can look at to maybe... Oh, actually, I don't know if there is like a full in-depth wiki, but I'm sure there's some way of like finding out what encounters are where. Because I know that I found one for uh, Radical Red at some point, and I'm assuming this game's got a very similar kind of fan base with the same kind of things. Uh, I'm just going to put a Max Pal on though. We do have the Dream Mist. I spent a really long amount of time getting a ditto with Imposter, and I really could have just used this Dream Mist. I really could have. Does annoy me a little bit. It does. Um, I do also have a cow that I can speed boost something. I'm pretty sure everything is like max speed, because I trained all of their speed. Yeah. Yeah. I can HP up the Ditto though, and that's actually useful, funnily enough. Um, we have an Iron, which I will happily give... Not give, use on you. Won't have any effect, because you're already EV trained. Okay, well, I mean, we have a bunch of items that we can't use. That's whatever. I mean, it's fine. Back up Thundercap Mountain, we go. Where am I going? Sign, Thundercap Mountain, a baby town, and he's a city. Okay, I see an item. Gimme goodies. Dust Ball, useful in the cave. And I always play at night. Useful. Useful. Uh, that's a lot of rock smashes. I'm very suspicious of this area. What is down here? Bug Boy, that I did not avoid in the slightest. Ack, I got caught in an electric web. Galvantula. Galvantula. Nyan Mega. <gasps> You dare use my own Pokemon against me, Bugcatcher? Not like this. I'm gonna stun spawn. Not like this! No, no boosts. No, no boosts. No boosts. Unless you boost and then I copy it. Maybe get the boosts. Maybe, maybe get the boosts. You wanna get the boosts? Didn't get the boosts. Um, hmm. That does make this fight harder, <laughs> for sure. For sure it does. Um, I can't go into my own Yan Mega. We could try and just copy the boosts. We really could. <laughs> it might genuinely be the best thing we have for this. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go into our Ditto. We're gonna copy those speed boosts, we're gonna go for our own Ancient Power, and we're gonna be the best. Alright, what moves do you have, enemy and mega? Slash, Ancient Power, Screech, and Silverwind. Well, we're using Ancient Power. We did not win the speed time. That is the downside. Um, yeah, that, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why I want the Choice Scarf. Uh, because at the moment, we are a complete speed tie. The Quick Powder, sadly, only takes effect while you are a Ditto. And we have Imposter, so we never get to use that berry. Um, this is really awkward now. It is really awkward. I don't know if it's better for me to Toxic or to Cross Poison and just try and get big damage, but, uh, I'm gonna just Cross Poison. Silver Wind, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't do too much. To be honest, we should have probably went into this first. I should have went for Toxic first. That did nothing. Did absolutely nothing. Was, was terrible how little that did, actually. I'm just gonna Toxic. Silverwind again. I wish it was going for Slash, to be honest. We get the Toxic, which I should have went for on the first turn, but I didn't. Um, I don't think this Drapion has any use after this. It's got a lot of speed boosts, buddy. It's got a lot of speed boosts. Um, just gonna click Night Slash, I guess. We're gonna go down, that's fine. No boost. No boost. No boost. Okay, no boost. Poison ticks, does some damage. We're gonna go into our Yan Mega, we're gonna detect. This is very awkward. <laughs> we, we detect. 
Mm-hmm. We protect ourselves from the scary Unmega that's gonna Ancient Power. How many Ancient Powers has it used? Four? I think it's used four. Regardless, I have a I have a plan. We just go into Lucario. This does mean that we have three Pokemon remaining to deal with his last two, but I mean, it, it, sh it should be fine. He's gonna Ancient Power, that should be his last Ancient Power. Um, it does nothing to us, he's gonna take the toxic damage, and then I have Faint? Oh no, buddy, why would you do this? Oh no, buddy. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I'm gonna click faint. It's probably not gonna kill now. Yeah. Slash, that's fine. That's fine. We saw that it didn't have anything to really hail Lucario. We defeated Raid Boss, okay? Yeah, Mega down. Raid Boss down. That Pokemon is way too good for some reason in this playthrough, and I don't understand why it keeps being so dang good. <laughs> Galvantula. I mean, that's kind of what I expected. I don't have anything to hit it. I'm gonna low sweep it once to lower its speed. Oh. Oh. Uh. Well. You haven't seen your plan just fall apart, because I sure have. <laughs> gonna click faint, because it's probably the most damage I can get off. Um. Oh, that is not good damage. Agility again. I am gonna be able to probably live one hit, though, so I mean... It's kind of fine. Might be worth it even to Aura Sphere once, while I'm I'm confident that I can live a hit. Yeah, I'm gonna Aura Sphere once. Electro Ball. Oh, he has a lot of speed boosts. Oh, I should have went for Faint. Oh, no. Wow, that didn't do as much damage as I thought. I guess it does have like a maximum power it can reach, but still, I actually really did think that that Electro Ball was just gonna one-shot me because he just set up so many agilities. But we're fine. We're fine. That fat one XP gain. I find it strange that we beat the Mega Evolution Lady and then didn't- Oh, that's good for us. And then didn't grab a, um... A level cap raise. Metal Claw is technically our strongest move. Aura Sphere does basically the same though and can't miss. So I'm just gonna Aura Sphere because I don't want to miss. Uh, we don't have- That does decent damage. Rock Slide, that's fine. Thankfully Lucario was like the perfect way of dealing with the rest of this bug catcher's team. Um, but yeah, we, we can Aura Sphere the Shuffle down. And then we're safe. Okay. All right. Well, I do think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. I'm going to take a peek and see if there's an item down this way or if this was actually the way to go. See a Zygob cell. See another trainer. Yeah, that looks like the way to actually go. So I'm going to go ahead, um, run back, heal. Maybe in between episodes I will level up the Ditto. Although, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure if I will just because it's not really necessary. The only thing it'll boost is its HP, so I'm not, not super thrilled to. Um, I haven't EV trained it or anything yet, because it's not like max HP IVs, it's not the best Ditto ever. Uh, we could always catch another one later on that's like a perfect imp imposter Ditto once we get a Choice Scalp or something, but for the moment it's there to potentially copy stat boosts and, and return kill the entire team with those stat boosts. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, 